Uh, now let's get into something that's kind of an interesting development that's kind of materialized on the crypto scene over the last 24 hours that I, I've just kind of been <laughs> amused by. It's happening. Amused and not entirely unsurprised. And that uh, is a uh, coin calling itself Safe Moon 2. Safe Moon 2 Electric Boogaloo. Now it's just Safe Moon 2, folks, but uh, Safe Moon 2.0. Um, and so uh, this Safe Moon 2.0 uh, popped up on the scene. Uh, a Twitter page popped up either last night or today for it. Um, a, tele a Telegram group popped up t uh, just today for it. There's a website. There's an official website up up there. Um, and there's even uh, I wouldn't say the website's terribly impressive. It's pretty basic, um, but it's got a white paper, and the white paper. It's pretty short. Um, the white paper, it, it operates on the same general tokenomics uh, system as as uh, the original SafeMoon. And SafeMoon 2 says it differs itself from the rest of the DeFi crowd because it has a passionate team working full time to fully to a fully fledged ecosystem of applications surrounding the token. That to me is just a word salad of that means nothing <laughs> it doesn't tell us anything we aim to not only have a financially appealing cryptocurrency asset for short-term traders but a suitable long-term asset for serious long-term investors safe moon 2.0 is a yield generating contract that rewards its safe holder or its holders this is something we know um so basically uh, behind the project is a highly specialized team that dreads the lack of transparency present in other DeFi coins. And uh, so they dr uh, they, they're they boasting themselves of being very transparent, but um, there's no names of any of the, the development team or who's behind this, let alone the CEO. <laughs> oh, can I? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I, I'm looking at their tokenomics right now. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Jump in. Get this. Yep. Mac, Max, first off, we all know this is a crap red light district pan, pancake swap version two token. Uh, but here's the here's the uh, breakdown mm -hmm. of tokenomics. Maximum supply, one quadrillion coins. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. There's an there's a, it's okay, Stephen. No, it's going to be okay because yeah. and there's an initial there's an initial burn of 500 billion why do you need to burn 500 billion coins <laughs> to to be get like why do you need to do that to begin with okay there's a pre-sale of 250 see this math is so crazy i don't even know yeah one two three four five two three four okay so there's a pre-sale of 250 trillion. There's a 200 trillion coin liquidity and mm. 25 trillion is allocated for their marketing budget. And okay. 25, 25 trillion is going straight into the pockets of the makers of Safe Moon 2.0. Uh-huh. And just to be just that's absolutely hilarious. Uh so th those number those numbers are absolutely hilarious. So just to be clear again, chat, we're not talking about Safe Moon. We're talking about a new coin that popped up today that's calling itself Safe Moon 2.0. I just want to make that distinction for you guys. So we're right now we're talking about Safe Moon 2.0. Um so um I was doing a a dive on this today to try to find out more about it. Um, I joined uh, the tele uh, the Telegraph group. I was trying to learn more about it, uh, try to get an official statement from the Safe Moon team. Uh, somebody did uh, uh, message me a screenshot of one of the devs of the original Safe Moon uh, group. Within, I think it was taken from their Discord, the Safe Moon Discord group. Uh, said that they're um, they weren't they weren't affiliated with Safe Moon 2.0, uh, but then I got like um, uh, it's interesting because I got a screenshot. I got a couple screenshots and I can post them on Twitter or whatever. But one is uh, somebody asked 
um, in the Safe Moon 2.0 uh, Telegram group, they asked the admin, the CEO or whatever, who is supposedly in there, um, if any of the original Safe Moon devs are on board. And <laughs> his answer was curious. And I'm just pulling that up right now. Um, so somebody asked this, the Safe Moon, C, Safe Moon 2 COO. Uh, hey, Safe Moon 2.0, just wondering if uh, the devs or anyone has connection to the original Safe Moon. And he answered it with this. Okay, this question has been asked a hundred times now. Firstly, that's not the way you want to start off addressing people's concerns with your first day opening. Yeah, a, nor is it actually correct because you've been open for like 10 hours. Right, it, it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's like, you're just, you're, this is their, your first day of trying to court new investors and you're already getting very snippy and short with them over the most basic questions anyone would ask if they were even entertaining this thing, right? So he starts off, okay, this question has been asked like a hundred times now. And he says, so I will answer this. We have talked to one of the devs of SafeMoon, yes, but I can't detail more about this. Okay. Uh, to me, it's like, what does that entail? That you just like ran into him at the Orange Julius? Yeah. I mean, what is this? <laughs> that could mean anything. Like, and we can't reveal. And then this is where it gets really sketchy, you guys. Like, um, uh, where uh, somebody asked, like, where there'll be, hope this is a fair launch. No massive, hope there's no massive dump that will happen. Some weak hands. We'll sell early, someone asks. And the the head administrator now, someone calling themselves the head administrator of Safe Moon 2.0 says, We have already taken precautions to avoid such a scenario. Put your trust in us. Everything is well thought. Period. <laughs> 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 what we're talking about with Safe Moon 2.0, it seems like, for so far, it seems like a totally different team, right? And from what I'm looking into Safe Moon 2.0 is it looks super, super incredibly suspicious. So, you know, and I also oh, want to bring, sure. I just it, want it, to bring this up too to, to warn people because I don't think this thing, this thing doesn't even look to me like a, a, um, a good investment for a pump and dump. Like, I just feel like this thing's going to uh, disappear like overnight. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> it's just got all the markers for that. And, you know, the... The uh, the COO and the head admin at Safe Moon 2.0 um, uh, are very defensive, right, about the most basic questions already out of the gate, and they're not talking in complete sentences. So, not good signs, guys, for Safe Moon 2.0. Yeah, if if their if English is poor or anything like that in their white paper, like you you that you have to be very very. I w I just I wouldn't invest. I would not invest.